Hey guys, it's Bill from the XP Guild here. I wanted to give a quick recap of what's been going on so far on Princess of Apocalypse and a little explanation of uh, what exactly we're going to be doing here, uh, why we're going to be starting where we start. But first, let me show you the intro that we did for this and then we'll be right back. So, explanation. <laughs> We're going to start with uh, session 23 on uh, YouTube here uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we started recording things a long time ago um, before we really knew exactly how we wanted to put things out. There were some back and forth as to the editing, who was doing the editing, what was going on. Um, so just whatever got put there while we ran other shows. Um, we did other shows. We've been streaming this for a while. Uh, so if you have been joining us for the streams, awesome. Thank you so much. If you would like to join us for the streams, check them out. They're on every other Monday on Twitch. We pretty much always have a Monday night game on Twitch, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, or uh, 5.30, I think, is when Princess of Apocalypse goes, so uh, 30 minutes after that hour because of uh, player scheduling. We started with the 23rd uh, because I went back to edit some of the old ones um, within passing them back and forth with a couple of people and me getting a new computer. I think I've lost a couple of episodes. I'm still on the search, so it may be something I get back to in the future. But until that point, I wanted to get something out. It is a good game with great players. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to toot my own horn, but with the people I'm with, they're really amazing. We have some great interactions. I think we have a lot of fun. And I think a lot of people would enjoy uh, those interactions. It is a um, D and D uh, module, uh, the Princess of Apocalypse, the um, Temple of the Elemental Evils. We are playing through that, so we will be picking up with the twenty third session, but we're not even like halfway through uh, the campaign module yet. So um, please, if you're interested, check us out. We started off in a small town uh, of Red Larch. I believe it's been a while um, all of us coming there for different reasons kind of meeting up and all looking for ways to make a little bit of coin and you know get back on our feet or get businesses running um, we've dealt we dealt with a couple of the local issues there before finally um, kind of like stumbling into things we were traveling with a cleric uh, by the name of Flungar a dwarf cleric and he was on a journey to um, find out what happened to some of the members of his temple. Going with him as a group, as we had already kind of established things, and we had a couple other leads on things in that same direction, we traveled, uh, we met up with uh, what we now know to be the Air Elemental uh, Cult, uh, but at that time the Feathergale Knights, I think is what they're called, a group of um, knights that ride flying mounts so we uh we were there just briefly we kind of figured out that something wasn't 100 percent cool and we were able to kind of back out a little bit make some deals in order for them to take us further along our trips i think the deal we ended up making where we're going to go check out this group of uh earth cults 
uh, people that were possibly rumored to have uh, been the ones to waylay uh, the body of Flunger's friend uh, and cohort in his temple. During the assault on the Earth Elemental facility, Flungar was captured and killed, but the party presses on in uh, vengeance, uh, desires on that, able to kind of sneak our way in, killing things sporadically, eventually getting ourselves all the way down uh, to who we felt was the head of that Earth Elemental faction, killing the Gorgon down there. And then Sharik, my character, having Mask of Many Faces, is able to pretend that he is him, uh, dispatch uh, or disperse many of that Earth cult, and the group went on their way, making eventually to kind of where we are in the story. Now we make our way to a town uh, along a river, who is having trouble with some river pirates, make a deal with uh, a local shop uh, keeper, a purveyor of magical items and uh, potions and such. And in that deal, we offer to help take care of their issue with these pirates. The group are able to coerce, capture, um, all sorts of things. A pirate of a... Uh, one pirate captain of one of their uh, river ships and eventually are taken to one of their small hideouts deal with the elements there and are able to send off a group of the force there to go uh, look for the, our group actually but sent them in the wrong direction in order to buy ourselves some time and not necessarily have to kill everybody uh, in that little facility we're able to send a couple others to fight a bugbear uh, that did not go well for them. And we begin with them uh, figuring out what they want to do with the captain, uh, how they want to continue on from here, uh, what's the best method to um, advance. So there's a lot of little nuances in the story that we didn't get, but a lot of it you will pick up as we go. There's a lot of story elements that are actually hadn't fully come out um we do know a few things about the characters gabriel was kind of like a street kid uh raised uh by dwarves uh, uh, like a i believe it was a dwarven orphanage so he learned to fight watching other people um he's a fighter barbarian i think by this point in the game uh, Walter is a druid halfling, though it looks kind of strange in like the armor and the turtle kind of shell that Walter has, a, a spores druid, and has kind of been our guiding light in the campaign. The uh, character who questions whether we should just kill everyone, like most of us seem to want to be murder hobos. Um, Walter has been for most of this campaign the one to the voice of reason that like, maybe we don't have to kill everybody you know maybe we can save our resources and our efforts and you know just deal with the bad elements deal with the ones that can't find reason. Eustace is kind of the dark shady creepy guy. He is a uh, thief um, and I believe he's picked up bard levels either by this point or shortly does but he is able to talk you know he's a, a face character as well as well as shriek is but he is sneaky he is um not opposed to doing things untoward to make a buck and to deal with elements that he doesn't feels in his best interest to have there uh at some point and i think already in this campaign we've decided that the term to eustace someone which is uh, Dave's character, Eustace Cooper, is uh, is to kind of like go out and kill someone silently and or and probably without real need to do so. Um, so <clears throat> there's some nice elements there. Shriek used to work for a lord of Waterdeep. Whether he was one of the, like the mass lords or just a lord, Shriek just knows that he was a wealthy guy that he kind of had to do whatever he needed to do in order to keep his lord happy. Um, he he has always been good with 
again, his, his ability to lie, to convince, to persuade, to charm, and has kind of been, or was, the cohort of, of his lord, and doing lots of uh, sneaky and deceitful things in order for his lord to get his way, sometimes, you know, whatever, in business or love or whatever, uh, Shriek was kind of the guy there to do that, mainly because uh, he knew he was indebted. His dad uh, had landed a job with the Lord's father and worked for the Lord for a while until he himself passed. Shriek uh, then took up that mantle and as a little boy grew up with the the his what was his Lord, um, but then his lord's son and served them for many many years until he finally came back to this um lord's uh keep his uh mansion estate area and found it destroyed um ruined uh people dead uh, or missing and amongst the ruins amongst the things he found there he found a ring which he found to be the genie vessel that he now wears um, and was offered a deal by a new lord a genie jinn who uh, offered him some power and uh, a mission to go out in the world and to kind of investigate what's going on with this elemental plague that's been going on and growing and rising uh, as the genie does not want a disruption of his own power or uh, another powerful element to come into play. So uh, Shriek is out there to do that every now and then. Um, he's called away from the group uh, by his lord. Uh, mainly it's it's the, the player side of things because I have a weird work schedule and I don't always get to attend every game. So that was one reason I went with the genie to start with because I felt that that was an easy way to say this powerful being pulls him into the ring and pulls him to his court and Shriek has to do things there uh, for the Lord and then comes back around whenever... Um, that element of his job is done. If I missed anything, I'm sorry. There were 22 episodes before this one. Again, if I can find them all and find the time to edit them all, I wanted to start somewhere where I reasonably thought I could catch up with everything. And um, I'm hoping that that's here. So the 23rd episode uh, is going up tomorrow. And then from then on, I will be working as best and fast as I can to get more of them up. Um, I do have two other, two or three other shows that I edit as we go, plus prepping to run my own game. But I am hoping to kind of stay on top of this and get more and more out so that eventually I can be caught up with this uh, series and everyone who uh, wasn't joining us live can maybe start joining us live or um, for those of you who want recaps or for those of you who just like the edited versions here on YouTube um, that's great uh, you know I think it's really good uh, content the players are amazing I am very lucky to be with uh, you know a great DM and a great set of players uh, that we have some awesome interactions and some very interesting and creative ways to circumvent uh, the module itself, much to uh, Red King GM's uh, chagrin sometimes. But thank you very much for joining me, and uh, check out Princes of the Apocalypse here on the XP Guild coming up uh, starting tomorrow. Epi well, Session 23 is out, or will be out. Uh, if you're checking this out on the day of its launch. And uh, we love you guys. We are all part of the XP Guild. <laughs>